Hello, Brad M. Hen here. So I'm going to show you what I did recently to my DVDs. First up, I, I put some, most of my wrestling ones back in the... Back on the... Dang it. Up there. I heard the other ones that are in alpha puzzle order. Next, I took out my comedies and my action, put all my cartoons on those two shells, on these shells. That all the way down is like all horror tiles. And there's iCarly I put right at the end. Where's um the left behind box set and the uh um the Stephen King and some other other random stuff. Behind them all these tapes are there behind them they're all there's all um um, all, um, horror movies, and up there you get my comedies all across there, and up there, and then you got my, uh, superhero collection, then my stand-up specials, more comedies, then my action, and on the very top is a bunch more action, then my martial arts collection, that I got recently all goes all the way over, and so you get some sci-fi and westerns, and the rest are my, my, uh, Christmas stuff. So, that's what I want to show off first before. Before I do my review of Snoopy Comes Home, I'm going to do this. I seen it a couple of days ago, so I'm just gonna do a real quick review of it. It starts out with Snoopy going to the beach with pep with um yeah, Peppermint Patty, I think. And she asks him tomorrow, so he went to the beach, there's a sign on the beach saying no dogs allowed, so he some at large to the letter then then you see a girl at a hospital writing a letter to Snoopy. Snoopy gets the letter and he laughed. Then Charlie Brown worries, worries. And you see him. Before that, you have Snoopy going to the library. He was reading his favorite book about bunnies and he gets kicked out of the library, too. And you see him get to kick off out of the hospital, the train, the bus station, no dogs allowed. And you hear the song saying, No dogs allowed. They have one from the hospital for no birds or dogs at the hospital. So he sneaks in and gets to see her. Then during that, uh, Shaw Bones worry about Snoopy, wondering what's going on. Then Linus goes, looks up some stuff about. And, and, you know, is it? He, and Shaw Bones does the story again where. He gets some kids pro sand on his head. He starts crying. His mom took him home, and then the next day they took him to uh, uh, the puppy farm where he gets Snoopy. And he, then, um, then Lions call him and found that this girl named Lou. What was it? I forget her name. It begins with an L. She used to be the owner, and Charlie Brown faded, bef and she faded, like, uh, before Lions could tell him, he's like, I how am I supposed to tell you if you keep fading? So, he found the truth, and Snoop and Snoopy visited her, they played car, they played, I think, checkers or something, and, and then Snoopy was crying, he figured out how to go back home, and, uh, after that, uh, Snoopy cries and said, don't you want to come home? And the girl said, don't you want to come home with me? So, uh, Snoopy went home, told Charlie and Trevor, said, did you see her? Then, uh, then Snoop had a stock write him out a, uh, his will. No, not his will, but, uh, tell him that he's going to leave. So, they had for a party for him. He gave Trevor his, his record collection. He gave, uh, a cross K set and something else to Linus. Then they, then they show him part of the game. All of them gave him bones. He's happy. Then he goes to the girl's apartment. And he's sad. He wants to go back with Charlie Brown. Then, uh, 
turns out that her apartment did have dogs. And Snoopy is like, first time you happy seeing that sign. So you go back to Charlie Brown. Then she, she also has a cat, so he's like, he's like, eee. So he went back home, and the kids were celebrating, and then Snoopy had Woodstock, Rasm Lair, so I want some stuff back. Then, uh, Charlie, since Charlie Brown, since he gives Chuck, Charlie Brown nothing, he gets nothing in return. Then when he, then, uh, he said, he's your dog, Charlie Brown. You did, and then they left. Then Charlie Brown looked up at Snoopy, and there's and at the end. It ends with Snoopy uh, and Woodstock like typing up the, act like they're typing up the credits and stuff. And that's basically the thing. It's pretty interesting how this works. How they talk about how Snoopy was mad at first, and all the keep out keep dogs out, and then. He, and one, he was able to go back to live with Charlie Brown and the gang. So, I don't know when I'm going to watch the uh, Snoopy, or I meant uh, Race Free Life, Charlie Brown, because I want to watch that next. It's pretty late right now. I'm watching a baseball game on TV. I have it muted. So, I just want to show off what I did to my DVD collection before I did the review. So I, I just did it real quick, so I just did, able to add this review to on it. So because all I have like really in order is my uh, wrestling DVDs over there, and that's the only thing I really have in order. All of them are just put them in their own category. Like all the co all the um, comedies are together, sort of, and they're not in alphabetical order except for my wrestling. That's the only ones that are, um. Alabelcoli. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, dang it, I can't say it now. Al, you know, alphabetically. Yeah, I can't even say the word now. So I just want to show that off real quick before I did this update. I mean, a, a review of Snoopy Come Home. I know there's probably more stuff I missed watching this. I think also when Snoopy come back he was whistling too. So that's and that's all I can really remember. And Pepper Patty thought she, he was leading Snoopy on too hard and that's why he ran away too. People were, they all but different reasons why he ran away. So thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye.